Hello again and welcome to the main event of this rainy Saturday. It's the one that I'm sure has captured the imagination of many when the fixtures were released. It's the Red Army taking on the Giants from... <coughs> it's Kez versus Dale in this classic clash. My name is Renard Kun and I've got alongside me a man, no stranger to the Kez Easter Festival, Mr. Loazi Zankwa. How are you, sir? Uh, well, in yourself, Renard. What can we expect from a hurting Dale College side, a side that will play with so much emotion on their side and what can we expect yet again from the home side King Edwards? Yeah, it should be an epic battle obviously. Motivation is everything when when uh, when it comes to rugby and Dale, Dale boys obviously will be very, very motivated to play this game uh, and, and likewise with Kez, it's a home festival, they want to win on the final day. So yeah, a lot to play for. You can see the starting lineup there for Dale. Uh, Estor, quality, quality player. Uh, does really well in the number, in the number 11 jumper. And then we have Ofani, uh, great scrummer of a boy that does really well uh, there too. Looking at scenes, beautiful to see Kez and Dale heading up in the same huddle. That's a, a beautiful A Renault. It's lovely to see King Williamstown, Dales College, a school, a community mourning the passing of two of its students. And it's just lovely to see that both sets of players are taking their time to show respects. As we just have a look here at the King Edwards lineup, do look out for the likes of Puffy and Molefe in the flanker combinations, as well as Jackson in the scrum off position. And of course, Julio Cardosa in the fullback position, one that is most certainly one to look out for. Likes to run with the rugby ball, likes to dazzle the crowd. As we can see, Kez clearly up for this one, clearly pumped. And as you can see now on your screen, Mr. Referee Richard Schwulz, a man that will certainly have an uphill task with negotiating this tricky encounter. Yeah, so it will it will be tough. I think both teams will apply a lot of pressure. Uh, obviously, the rainy conditions mean that the game itself might not lend itself to what each uh, coach wanted to play. However, uh, it's cool. it will be an epic battle nonetheless. King Edwards just waiting to get us underway. And it's fly half Masondo. You would have noticed that he doesn't have the number 10 on his jersey. That is just to show respect for the lives lost in that Dale College side. But it's a very good start from King Edwards as scrum off Brent Jackson collects, goes to his lock forward, Tom Gentone. Jackson once more. through. As I mentioned, Dale College not attending the first day's action. And the kids coming off a very good victory against the Queens. Yesterday, only by a slender one point, as we see Yakez potentially profiting off an early Dale College era. Right. Referee. Okay. I didn't just see a clear grounding, I saw the ball go off the head. Yep. No, so, okay. no try. <laughs> yeah, I think good call there, yeah. Mr. Ref. Uh, uh, as we look at the replay there, Scrum. Dale Boys not securing the own ball properly. As a result, ball is passed back. And uh, it's a little bit rushed, uh, hence I think uh, they ended up uh, missing guys, the ball completely. Just, like, just get so up for me quickly, guys. Conditions play just listen to me. But I think the ref making the, the right underneath. goal there. Listen to the call. Yeah, Kez sure starting off the game with a bang. Um, the basically making sure that um, they kick the ball short. I'm, I'm sure they must have realised that they are set quite far back. Uh, Regathering, having a great attack leading up to uh, that uh, knock on there. And it's funny that inserts there for the men from the Eastern Cape. Finding it really difficult to escape their own half. Advantage case! Advantage on board! Advantage was over. You had an overlap. Too 
men overlapping. Porter just scored a try. Guys, 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 I've already explained to you tonight. You had a, you had a clear, you had a clear overlap. If the guy got the ball, it would have been a try. Of course, Okay, right. okay, let's just set up, guys. That's the mark. Please, I want your left off the mark, please. Left. Crouch! Bind! Set! Uh, unfortunately, knocking on the ball there. Uh, they're going to have to fix those areas if they want to make sure they're on top of the game of this game. Brent Jackson collecting once more, spreading the ball out wide to. Number seven, roll away. Seems like cover. Jackson over eager there. A little bit too excited to get the play restarted. Granting the chance now for. To show what he's made of that outside center. High fives all the way around for Kez. They'll be looking to motivate that forward pack. Brent Jackson, ball in hand, as you can see on your screen. No lack of rainfall here in Halton, ladies and gentlemen. But has certainly not compromised on the quality of rugby. Brent Jackson getting that go-ahead, finally there, making himself known there, but it comes to the eighth man, now out wide for Kiz, Julio Cordosa, being pulled back there, Brent, Jack Brent Jackson getting us underway once more, looking at attacking pod, being made available for King Edwards, spreading the ball once more, Kiz now, Inches away from getting onto that scoreboard early. It's been a fantastic start from the Red Army, from the home side. But look at that defense on show from Dale College. Brave in defense. And have subsequently got in a penalty. And it's extremely good work there from the men from the Eastern Cape. But it's Kez once more. Joshua Dulacier. Brett Jackson. Kez just past that five meter line. The try may be beckoning. Now Puffy, who goes over, the big flanker, gets the early try. And it's been one fantastic start from Kez off the outset, from kickoff onto the try line. Impressive stuff from Kez. Oh, definitely, Puffy there getting over the whitewash. Uh, what, what it basically means is that. Due to the little bit of uh, errors from Dale, um, Kez were able to get over the line, uh, putting on sustained pressure. As we look at the replay there, Brent Jackson passing the ball to Big um, Puffy, um, has basically tunnel vision and uh, is over the whitewash. So great try, obviously, by Kez. They'll, they'll feel that they've had the early start. Uh, they'll be they'll be licking their lips at the prospect of the rest of the game. Yeah. And obviously, Dale will try and fix their errors. It's one or two errors in, in critical position that gets you uh, possible seven points. Yes, possible seven points um, in the in the red. However, lots to play for, lots of time. Uh, let's see what happens next. Cordoza making no mistake from the kicking tee there, but as you mentioned, the Dale College not gracing us with their presence in the first day, so it does take quite a bit of time to get used to the festival. It is their first game, and what a first game to be involved with. The conditions most certainly setting the scene here. A deep from a kickoff goes Lela. Massive right boot straight back to the Dale College half. And it's Kuse with a little kick and chase now. We've seen a number of kicks going in from both sides. Miscommunication there at the back from King Edwards. Looks like Dale College were in, but the referee is halting the excitement of both the players and the crowd there, Dwazi. Yeah, it, well, the crowd obviously didn't hear the, the whistle go. So they thought Dale, yeah, 
you know, the track of the chance. Unfortunately, Mr. Wave deeming that uh, okay, number five from, from Dell uh, in Dublin was offside uh, in front of the kicker. So they're coming back here, case ball, and uh, they've just pointed to the sticks, one in the three points. Not a bad call uh, by Kays there. Right? Richard Schultz just indicating there that the Dell College defensive line were indeed offside. It seems like Cordosa is interested in that penalty attempt and he's lining up for it once more. Yeah, so Kez uh, ultimately at the moment look like they're just ahead uh, purely based on the fact that they have scored points on the board and also Dale had made one or two errors. Uh, but I have no doubt that uh, the mighty men from King William's town, Amatota, will fight till the bitter end. Cordosa with a difficult kick to negotiate. Some distance to overcome. But he is taking his time. Deep breaths in and out. Seems like the distance is good and the flags are up. Very good start from King Edwards. Very good start from Julio Cardoza. Exceptional work here from the home team. Feeding off their home support. And they've really put Dale College to the sword here in these opening minutes. Yeah, certainly they have. Um, another restart here by Dale. Well taken there. From Kez. Masondo there managing to find touch in some sublime fashion. Kuse just interested in taking the line out quickly there. But the ball now on that 22 meter line. Yeah, fantastic exit there by um, Kez. Um, Masondo making sure that he got the ball. Um, from the east up, up. and shaking yeah, up to kick and making 80 meter gains. So a beautiful rugby there by Kez. And it's funny, one of two balance, but it's Kez ball once more with Brent Jackson. Kez so far, really gaining some momentum, riding a wave of momentum. Double movement. Hold They've on. been really good throughout this festival thus far, but not in that specific instance it's good work from Dale College Double movement, holding on well not good work from Dale College simple error from the case but it does grant the Dale College an opportunity to get some respite and potentially overlook a couple things and as now he kicks towards the makeshift commentary booth what do you make of the start Dale College has given us and what potentially should they change? What urgent changes are needed from yeah, the team for me? So they'll need to make sure that they're not playing rugby in their own half as a start. And obviously try to turn their own ball. Uh, they haven't been able to do that in, in their own half. Uh, obviously two errors there making sure that uh, King Edward were to get on the scoreboard quite early. So there's not much they need to fix. <laughs> However, they, they will have to play in the opposition half in, in conditions such as these. As you can see there in your, on your screens, okay. the rain is really okay. coming down now. Yeah. You can come back once I stop the blood, so we can continue with the game. You can come back. Huh? Was he, you yourself no, were a coach. Say, say, you can sub maybe him, bring up someone, and he come, came back once the blood is stopped. Short passes, so maybe is the now. way yeah. to go yeah, in yeah. conditions such as these. Yeah, so it, you could, you could. So it's, it's two options. Let's just wait for you the really go until for the they stop the blood, then he can come back. If you're going to try and play an expansive game in the wet, you run the risk of losing it uh, and ultimately the other team capitalizing on your mistakes to go and score tries. Or you play the more natural game which is very tight, very close, but sometimes you don't have a pack to do that. You know? So it's catch 22 situation, but I know for a fact both teams will have to keep it tight here and um, it will obviously take away the, the running threat in terms of play, but um, yeah, it, it's just the risk you're willing to take, I guess. On Hayser, the coming on there, yes, substitutes yes. come off. First one, next one is a free kick. Locks in, locks in, locks in. Brent Jackson now finding himself in the back line. Rather. Crouch! 
slippery conditions underfoot. Scrums difficult to negotiate as we've seen in the previous game between Hudson Park and it's still bleeding. The Jeppy. It's still bleeding. We need to stop the blood. It's still bleeding. Get in, locks in, locks in. Okay, listen to the call, guys. I'll keep. I'll. I'll call it louder. Okay. Oh no, sir. Still with the ball in hand, number nine, Brent Jackson, with a bloody nose. Stop! And it's Case who get us restart. No advantage to knock on. First knock on. Good discipline, keep it away. Good discipline. You can't go more than 1.5, otherwise it will be a free kick against you. Uh, just go left, please. Thank you. The message there of what is required. And it's once more with Funny, one of the two brothers, who inserts now for Dale College looking to find Lena. But it's Kiz Ball once more with Arnhauser. Obviously, Mr. Ref deeming that they used the hands in the scrum, which we all know is illegal. Uh, but he has another opportunity here for Cardoza to possibly add another three points, or do they back themselves to try and go for the corner and uh, maybe uh, get another score, meaning they're seven points clear? So. Decisions, decisions. It seems as though they've gone for the most logical one, which is go for three and come back and regroup yeah, and be 13 fine. points ahead, <laughs> possibly. And why wouldn't you win? Cardoso has been inch perfect <laughs> from the kicking team. <laughs> Tough conditions to kick in, that is for sure. But he would have definitely been working throughout the week on his kicking game. Cardoso, we've definitely seen that in full effect. Aiming to take that lead to 13 now. As he eyes up his target. Seems like he just pulled it across to the left there. Slightly disappointing from Cardoso, but it's a, an extremely difficult distance and angle to negotiate from the kicking tee there. But nonetheless, the King Edwards are still very firmly dominating this game thus far, Luazi. Yeah, definitely. And, and I think it's it's just due to Dale's errors at this stage. And they've capitalized on their errors. So, yeah, if, if, if Dale could make sure that they don't uh, have those errors, um, um, I have no doubt it would be a better contest. And it's Get Dale out, College now, back, kicking back, from down, deep, down. well gathered there from Sislatha. Good work there from the tight end. Advantage, not rolling. On oh, Acer once more. Down the ball. It's Kez looking to Advantage. add to their lead, looking to add to their list of tries. Richard Schulz calling the players back for previous infringement. Okay, time is off now. Captain, where's the captain? I was where's just wanting captain? to speak to okay. the Number captain six. of the Dale okay. College side. You're going to have to have a chat to your team now. We've had now numer numerous penalties, even if it's different penalties, you need to get the discipline up. The last one, the guy clearly don't, doesn't make an effort to roll away. Uh, please chat to your team and get the discipline up. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Let's fix it. Yeah, the ref um, being very clear there. Uh, although different infringements, it's one too many penalties in that part of the zone, uh, that part of the field, and then uh, deeming that Dale must have a chat. So, yeah, Reynard, I, I call it, it's Dale errors that are getting Kez ahead at this stage. It's not like uh, Kez is, is obviously, I mean, they're a decent side. They haven't done much in order to, to show how or display their, their goodness or their, 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 their playing prowess. So, yeah, so Dell, if they fix the errors, I think it would be a better contest in itself as a whole. Um, but it's tough to fix in those conditions. Yeah. I mean, the knock-ons are, are expected, not even, <laughs> it's, it's a no-brainer. So, uh, Cardoso to add the three, and Cardoso does add the three. So, we're sitting at King Edward 13, at Dell College North, 
after 17 minutes. Julio Cardoso really profiting off, as you mentioned, the Dell College errors. And it's been all cares thus far, ladies and gentlemen. If you are just tuning in, the score now 13 0 in favor of the home side, the men in red. The referee just keeping the chases there. Flat kickoff. Eventually finding Kez hands, charged down there. Deflected out. High fives all around from King Edwards. And Puffy right in the thick of things. As well as Masando. Gwazi, you are the backline coach of the Hudson Park side. Um, and while I was commentating that game, I did notice that Hudson Park was really struggling to get going with their backline moves and struggling really to find the spaces in behind of the defense. But as you mentioned, the conditions are really difficult to negotiate for these schoolboys. No, it becomes very difficult. But uh, as a team, uh, we have a philosophy that we we play our, our rugby. We don't change because of conditions. And sometimes it pays off. We uh, played a couple of weeks ago, heavy rain. We were able to put 60 points on a team. Uh, and then today, you struggled to get the pass and you struggled the whole game. So it's just unfortunate. But um, we back ourselves to do it. And unfortunately, today wasn't the day. Uh, but in this, in these conditions, yeah, you, you must try and go flat if you're not a team that likes to run the ball. You have to take it in uh, flat. Uh, over the vantage line, a fourth coming around the corner, and hopefully keep it tight to eventually wear the other team out. So, yeah, Dale, I'm sure, will try to do that now. Most certainly a forward game now with Fanny substitute Mayoral. Decent work here from Dale College to gain that advantage. Calling for the flanker there, Rashu. Dale College now looking to spread the ball. Referee Mr. Schultz okay, captain. intervening once more. You've got three penalties, three options. Off, player going off his feet, uh, the player not um, going off his feet here, or the offside. Was he, if you were the in the offside. position of Captain Mukherjee. Offside, there's three penalties. Go to polls or go to the line? Offside. I would take the point. Uh, it's still early days. It's still 40 minutes of the game got, remaining. Job, yeah, uh, it's still first job, half. Yeah. Uh, they haven't really done anything wrong in terms of themselves as, as a team. Uh, take the three, come back and regroup and hopefully kick receipt, receive it, exit nicely, go play rugby in the position half and hopefully find yourself having an opportunity or two with the ball in hand and running. So. I think it's a great call. It's right in front of the sticks. If it was on the corner, maybe corner or other, but um, definitely making a good call according to myself. But <laughs> I'm sure other people might differ. My Yo Yo now with the perfect opportunity to cut down that lead just to 10 points. As I mentioned, Hill College will be really wanting to establish some rhythm in this game. Still really struggling to adapt to conditions. And it's good. Flags are up. Decent kick there from the substitute number 22, Mayoya. Mayoya, apologies. So it's a good work from Dale to get their first points onto the scoreboard, but they still find themselves trailing by 10 in this mouth watering schoolboy rugby clash. Yeah, it's absolutely great that they've gone for the three. Uh, hopefully, they're able to receive this kick. Uh, and um, make sure they get a good exit from it. Going through the legs there of one of the Dale College players. Not recovering the ball necessarily too well from the kickoff. Yeah, very unfortunate uh, kick receipt there, not going according to plan. Fortunately, going right through the legs of uh, Moketi, the captain. <laughs> um, now, K is an opportunity to extend the lead, and obviously, Dale. Uh, unforced errors coming to play again. Joshua Dulacier goes all the way to the tail of the line out. Collected by Mpafi, bringing it down. Now Brent Jackson clapping on his forward men. As you can see now that Kez, Red Tank pushing forwards. Relentless in their pursuit. Head down and a charge forward by Dulacir. 
pick and go there from Kez once more. Looking to build some phases here. Time off. Decisions, decisions. Do you go for pole? Do you go for corner? What would you do? Uh, definitely, I mean, the conditions most certainly play towards the kicking game. As we can just see now on your screen, yellow card shown to the Dale College player. Really driving in the knife deep into the hearts of Dale College players and supporters. Now having to deal with one less man. Guazi, how will that affect the team, potentially? Yeah, well, it has the potential to affect the team or not affect the team. But obviously, playing with one less more likely is to affect you. Uh, so, uh, you'd like to think that Dale will give it every opportunity with 14 men. Uh, but obviously, Kays will have an extra man in the back line. Uh, due to, um, prior to high school rules. Me, um, so let's see what they can do with the numerical advantage. Funny, the man being shown the yellow card there. Spending some time in the sin bin for the rest of the first half. But it's Jackson, get us going once more. We gathered there from eighth man, Wuklathle. Lock, once more. Kays now. Really eager and desperate to add to their lead. Beautifully taken there by Lebachan Seflatha. Brandon Jackson digging for that ball. Now with winger Takane. Jackson weighing up his options. Going right. Now comes to the fly half. Now the inside centre, Bennett. Kez getting over, securing that ball, pass out wide, flat pass out wide, well picked up, up and down, losing the ball forward there. Not one. Yeah, a bit impatient there, Kez. I thought if had they been more patient, have a couple more pick and goes, uh, forced Dale to come in closer, and then obviously opting for the launch. I think they launched a little bit too early there. Uh, as a result, okay. ball. Um, Tried right. to get it to, to where the space was, which is not a bad idea. If However, freeze, it probably even if you go forward, it, it no is better to just try and go the through the hand. So, the yeah, but unfortunately, so they're, they're showing no patience, Kez. However, they're, they're still they the ball, applying they a lot of pressure. They are still within, within their own five right. meters. So, uh, nonetheless, uh, good from Kez. King Edwards most certainly piling on the pressure in the first half. The ball. But a scoreline that isn't impossible for Dale College to negotiate. And it's once more with Fani. Very good scrum from King Edwards. The flanker just knocking it backwards there for the scrum off. First and last one. Mayoyo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, it was a knock on here. But a team that likes to attack, a team that likes running ball, Kez, so far, granting them none of that. Yeah, certainly, uh, Kez applying a lot of pressure. Um, Dale, don't think I've had a 22 visit yet, uh, besides kicking the ball, obviously, over the sticks. Uh, so, Kez applying a lot of pressure with five minutes to go in this half. Um, I think the Kez coach, uh, Marco, will definitely... I commend the boys for the effort they've put in so far and that uh, obviously will try to carry on that pressure in the second half. And it's King Edwards once more who got down and it's from the Dell College era that Kez profit from and it's Jackson the man. Yeah, so um, we were speaking about the errors earlier about uh, that Dell are uh, making and there's another one, a pure example of a, a, a scrum going backwards, uh, Dell Boy trying to pick up the ball, unfortunately unable to do so. We look at the replay here. Yeah. Scrum going backwards, scrum off from Dale. Um, finally not able to uh, pick up the ball. And obviously uh, Jackson pouncing on the ball and uh, putting in a, a, a good try for Kez. Yeah. You'll like to think that the Dale College boys will know that they didn't need that because obviously now uh, King Edward possibility of sitting at 20 points with three minutes to go in this half. They'll know for a fact that, that they would have lost this half, but will come out flying in the second half. A devastating time to concede a try from the Dale College point of view, but the perfect time to score a try from Kez. And they've done exactly that three minutes before the end of the first half. 
and it's Julio Cardoso once again with an opportunity, hugging the right hand touchline, looking to bend it in, shaping just wide there from the young fullback. But it's been all Kez. It's been the Red Army show thus far. You can go as soon as you're ready, you don't. Just keep but it's line. also been the comedy of errors from Dale College, really making the lives of the Kez players rather easy. Flat kickoff once again from Fani. Going to fly half. Masando. Yeah, so the second time the uh, King Edward doing really well. Um, receiving the ball off a kick receipt, not even attempting to play in their own half, um, kicking the ball, ending up in the opposition half. So it's beautiful rugby to see. Um, you like to think that the boys obviously have worked really hard to make sure that they're playing rugby in the opposition half, which is uh, where you can make as many errors as you want uh, because obviously the ball is far away from your try line. So, Beautiful to see from Kez. Can Dell receive, uh, take the own line out in the air? Moketi, the number six flanker. Line up not quite going to hand, and it's Kez once more on the ascendancy. Look at the strong run there from Puffy, just losing the ball there. Getting a little bit over eager in his charging upfield. But look at the pace on show from King Edwards. Another cross kick there, but it's Dale College with a slip, and it's Kez that are really making the lives of Dale College extremely difficult, and they're absolutely loving this, licking their lips at the prospect of putting the side from the East Cape to the sword, putting on a fantastic display for their home crowd. And it's Fani who gets it out eventually for Dale College, looking to find touch there. Dale College almost sneaking in the outside area there. But as you can see, K supporters absolutely loving that one. Yeah, K supporters will definitely be loving that one. Uh, they were able to um, kick the ball, which is not, not, bad, not a bad option from Dale trying to make sure they're playing rugby in the opposition half. Uh, but K is equal to the task. Uh, tackling the boy out Five. and uh, Five. obviously that being called half time. Just call the captain. Your captain. Yeah, 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 your captain. This was your captain. So we're just 10 seconds away from the first half conclusion. That's why I say if they, if they don't infringe any law, I can't penalize it. So, so, <laughs> so I just want to chat to you guys. I know it's not very good, uh, good, good conditions, but the thing is, I just want. At the moment, it just looks like I'm in the game because I have to give penalties all the time. So all I'm asking from you guys is, let's just talk to, uh, talk to the teams. I know we're eager to get to the ball, but let's just be in law, and then I will allow you. But at the moment, it's, if, if they get the ball, you're going offside, you're not rolling away. Same as their side. If you're on attack, they're not rolling away, or they're going offside, or they're collapsing the ball. Let's just get the discipline a bit up, and then we can play. Okay. I'll try my best on my side as well. Thanks. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to these less than ideal conditions that we currently find ourselves in. King Edwards putting on a fantastic display in the first half, coming up with the 18 3 lead. It's been very good work, especially from the likes of Julio Cardosa, adding those extra points from the kicking tee. But Dale College will be certainly looking for a response, Luazi. Yeah, they will definitely. Uh, there's not much Dale needs to fix besides the errors. If they can minimize the errors, uh, Kez will definitely, they'll, they'll apply a lot of pressure to Kez. And uh, he has a good start, as you can see, kickoff. They've done really well to apply a lot of pressure on Kez. Uh, but seeing Kez equal to the task. Kez securing the ball. Now kicking the downfield. Turning the likes of Chol inside out. Lovely ball there to the fullback. 
who manages to stay in field and on his feet. Very good work from the young man there, but once again, finally taking his eyes off the ball. Granting an opportunity straight back to Kez, and it's a box kick, of course, from Ben Jackson, and it's a chase on from King Edwards. Just a tap through, he needs that favorable bounce. Very good. Seems like it was a recovery there from Dale College. Of your own player, and then he scored it. And now, listen to my call. But it is it indeed the, the try player. time as we just get the, the red player came from behind and he scored the try. It's extremely good chasing work from King Edwards. As you mentioned, profiting off those Dale College, Dale College errors that are certainly not being minimized whatsoever. It's John Taney, the man that gets onto the score sheet. Yeah, so we look at the replay here. Yeah? They say your kick is only as good as your chase line, and the chase line was equal to the task. You see uh, applying a lot of pressure, uh, showing his soccer skills there, <laughs> making sure. And as you can see, uh, both players miss the ball, and the one coming in behind, the opportunistic player, <laughs> scores the try at the end. So, beautiful to see from Kez, obviously applying a lot of pressure in the game, in all aspects of the game, and the errors from Dell College continue. Right place and right time for their kids no, locked there. Back. You can come back. Really eager to add to that lead. Twice. Looking to you can go. put on a quite an eye-catching performance here for their home crowd. Look to end off this Saturday's list of fixtures Why in Dale? some style. But it's Brent Dan Taken Jackson. Back. It goes to his fly half, Masondo. Very well taken there. Look at the momentum gain from Dale College. Out of nothing, out of the blue. Just needs some support. Not quite finding that support does. Somanga draw. A new advantage to offside. And it's Moyoyo once more. Two. Exceptional passage of play here for Dale College. We haven't seen this in this encounter so far. This is the Dale College that we've been missing. And once more with... Dale College comes as an opening. Just dives into a puddle there. Waiting for some attacking points. It's the false. Held up. A false hold up there. A very good effort from the Kez defensive line to make sure that Dale College don't get onto the try scoring sheet. Yeah, so uh, very good there from Kez, showing that they also can defend uh, as much as they apply pressure in many different ways on, on, on attack. Uh, Dale, obviously, that gather was unbelievable by the young man, Somanga Cho. Uh, on the run, full tilt, carry, literally grabs it out the air. Good swerve of the of the of the of the hips gets through a gap, able to get five meters from the line. So great rugby from the young man, really well done. And uh, Dell, stay patient, and I'm sure they can make sure that they can get the first try of the game. As we can see, a number of changes run here for. Okay, don't let them push forward. Scoreboard in a way that wasn't influenced in the first half. But they do find themselves in case half, and that's always a positive. Guys, guys, guys. Okay, okay. Guys, just, guys, just listen to me. Too many Ball in hand. Yeah, so Dell College will be looking to obviously maybe go narrow here. They do have a, a big boy in the name of uh, Raffles. And he is, the, both times he's carried the ball, he's gone forward. And great incremental gains as well. So if he can, if they can just have a short move, runners around the corner, obviously props will probably take two phases to go around the corner, and I'm sure he could score easily, uh, as he showed before, because he was the one that got held up. Oh. No, 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 no. with the nine quite an unusual... Reset again. They're not proving to be costly. But Josh Paul, as you mentioned, really making a difference in this Dale College second half lineup. But they'll be eager to get onto that scoreboard and cross the chalk whenever they can, was They really will be. I mean, that, that was very unusual, what you would call that. 
So if the ball did go forward, I, I take it the ball's not in play, which means he can't knock it on. Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Just wanted to check. It's really unusual to see there. Um, yeah, Dell will be looking to make sure that they get on the score line. If you look at uh, the, the replay here, it. <laughs> yeah, what would you call it? Um, yeah, ref actually making the right call at the end there. Um, but yeah, Adele, he has a real opportunity here. Uh, can they do it, yes or no? Probably the first and last time Mayoyo would have Collects at the base. A big important now with the eight man, Tuma. Mayoyo once more, now with the inside center with the handoff there, Kete. Dale College now forming some phases. Yet again, another costly error, but there was a previous infringement. Player did go over, but not according to the referee, just bringing the players back. No, no, you're not going to shake your head at me, come here. He seems to be in constant. You just got on the field. Keep on doing what you're doing, and then you're going to watch her up in the, off the field. I'm going to be Dialogue honest with you now. I'm going to be honest with you now. Arguments between both sets of players, was he? Yeah, so the ref being very clear. Um, that the okay. discipline needs to be sorted out from both sides attacking and defending. And obviously the penalties are going towards Dale. So in terms of the game itself, King Edward have to sort that out. Uh, and Dale possibly maybe a little bit of chirping towards the referee. Uh, but the referee very stern, uh, which, which is, uh, I believe, very good. Because at the end of the day, if we allow these things to creep in our game, we might lose the sport in itself. So... Um, yeah, beautiful from the Mr. Ref there. Let's see if Dale, uh, the quick tap, and them attempting to go score. I'd love to see them with patience, though. Let's see what happens. Richard Shaw's... Wayward pass there. Managed to scramble some possession and after a decent start to the second half by Dale College King Edwards right back into the ascendancy of things Jackson with that lovely box kick not quite lovely commentators curse the ball now just short of that 10 meter line Dale College we've seen a real shift in their mindset in the second half we really have and it's unfortunate that they've actually had so many errors at the beginning of the game for the scoreline to be that large uh, it's really unfortunate however at the end of the day uh, you are what you play so uh, you see that Dale obviously now coming into their own in this fixture um, but obviously a lot to do Sidaza is line up managing to be stolen there from King Edwards. King Edwards push forward nonetheless. And it's Dale College now finding themselves in case territory. Unfamiliar a territory tossed down there by Dale College. Substitute just knocking it forward, diving past the ball. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> that was very unusual. It's a game filled with unusual moments. All, to, all he had to do was dive on the ball as we see the replay there. Great effort, charged down. Two Dell players in pursuit of the ball. A little shimmy there. Unfortunately, diving right past the ball. Unbelievable there. A side that has been craving a try. Find themselves on the try line, just not quite managing to dot down and convert. A little bit frustrating from Dale College, but encouraging signs from the men from the Eastern Cape. But they now have a very good opportunity on that 50-meter line. Looking to get some running ball going. 
She does her. Goes in. Now going to the tail this time. Mayoyo back in field. Lovely step on the inside there. Back into traffic. Dell College was certainly looking more structured in their second half of post. But Grummer through doesn't quite work out for Dell College. Knock on there from King Edwards and Dell College. Take it quickly. Fullback Kuse. To form an attack. Mayoyo goes back, finds his flanker, kick through there, stab through there, sliding on the mud there. But now Dale College once more looking to get the boot on the ball there. Number seven diving onto the player. Yeah, you can't dive onto the player when he's on the ground. Yeah, really unfortunate there. A lot of errors, which Number we expect, uh, which we expect a lot of errors from both sides, ball slipping out of tackles, etc. Uh, but nonetheless, entertaining game, I believe, Renat. What are your thoughts? It's been a game that we've seen KZ, King Edwards dominate in the first half. Um, still managing to maintain a certain comfort zone in the game, although Dale College have flirted with a try of their own, but not proving to be enough. Um, so it's been easy pickings for King Edwards thus far, but Dale College most certainly right back into the swing of things. And it's been a good return, as you can see now. Tommy, the man, making his way onto the field. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see here uh, King Red with, with the five plus one in the lineout, seeing what they what what a lineout attack are they going to use. Unfortunately, Mr. Rev deeming that the ball was not straight. It seemed like a lovely. A line-out execution there from where we were sitting. The Dulacy are also not quite happy with the referee's decision, but it's a decision nonetheless. As you can see there, students, K supporters, absolutely drenched in the rainfall, but supporting in their numbers. Something that is so symbolic of schoolboy rugby. Another scrum once more for Dale College. Yeah, Dale with an opportunity to try and run it, yeah? This part of the field is probably, if you're a back attack coach, is the best place to, to try and run it from. Two parts, obviously, you're quite high up in the field. Second part is the opposition, the defending, you. they have to fill uh, the kicking space. So... It always is a mismatch and see which teams actually decide to run from here. It takes, it's a guts call, it takes some balls. <laughs> However, perfect opportunity for them to try run it here. Certainly a game of chess. Expected. But as you mentioned, we'll see what Dale College can muster up. Inserted from Fani, but look at that strong drive back from the King Edwards forward pack. Wayward pass there, lovely step, sending one player off to his right, but Dell College getting slightly a little bit more comfortable in this game as he does her. Manages to hold on to that one, Fani goes to the substitute there now with Flanker Mukhetsi, also the captain of the Dale College side. Once more. Mayoya booting downfield. Yeah, very unfortunate there. Uh, possibly Dale being impatient. Good call to kick it away. However, the execution of the kick was the problem. So, um, doing really well there, Dale, to notice that they, they needed to exit. And uh, unfortunately, the execution of the kick let him down. But nonetheless, Kez uh, with an opportunity with the same line-up move that they did before. Let's see if this one. Kez's progress certainly halted on the scoreboard, but not from the line-out. As we can see, the mall is being formed here. Look at them push forward. Joshua Dulacier at the back of that mall decides to go on his own on the blind side. Head down. Well spotted there from the Dale College men. Dealing well with that one. But the threat, however, is not away just yet, not gone just yet. As Kes 
as Kez push forward once more. Going to that blind side once again. Eventually pushed out of play. Referee does call them back. And it's Jackson. Yeah, referee calling him back uh, for the collapse in the mall. Uh, I think K is a little bit impatient there. Had they had they carried on doing what they're doing uh, in terms of runners on the open side, not the blind side, I think they would have got over the whitewash. But yeah, uh, scrum off backs his, his player there, unfortunately bundled into touch. Very good call here by Kez to take the scrum. The scrum is dominating, the scrum is going forward, and it gives a good attacking platform for, for their backs to try and do it. Dulesir, the Kez hooker, ending up in a puddle of mud there, but a hooker that certainly wouldn't mind getting his hands dirty. Richard Schultz. The man in the hot seat. Very good performance from this referee, as we've mentioned, Loisi, throughout. Trying to maintain his authority on this game and doing exactly that. As Kez now wait for the go-ahead. Jackson waiting for the scrum to set and for Kez to push forward once more. It's very good work from King Edwards. Seems like just a bit of a high tackle there around the neck, but Kez push forward nonetheless. They've got some numbers in the wide areas. It's just coming up short there. Does King Edwards, Caleb Lombard, someone that hasn't gotten onto the ball as frequently as he would have wanted. Masondo now going down. Masondo with the cross kick. It, oh, bounce, just evading the fingertips there of the flanker, Mpafi. Yeah, Masondo doing very well. Uh, noticing that Dale uh, were narrow in defence. Uh, unfortunately, this game is just a bounce of a ball. That ball could have bounced up straight into his hand for the score. So great rugby there, and and let's see what they can do now with trying to apply pressure with Dale uh, in their own five meter. Lovely variety shown in their attack from King Edwards. The option was most certainly on execution. Unfortunately, down to the bounce of a rugby ball, and we know how unpredictable that can be, but Kez push forward nonetheless. Kez should stay patient. Patience most certainly required in a game like this. Kez shouldn't get over eager in adding to that lead. The tries will come as Dale College tire, but the Dale College perspective, they'll definitely say the same and believe But it's Jackson on that five meter line. Attacking pods forming there with Molefe right at the center of it. Yeah, unfortunately, Dale uh, De College losing the ball there. It's lovely to see with the support. <laughs> it's bucketing with rain at King Edward uh, Easter Festival. And the crowd seems to be going nowhere, <laughs> which is absolutely excellent. It's just testament to the, what the festival means to the people of Joburg um, and how far they've come. So, yeah, big ups to King Edward the school, big ups to Supersport, and big ups to all the players that are taking part here today. It's been an Easter festival that we've been missing from our calendars, which is hence the reason why the crowd is in no rush to head on home. It doesn't matter what conditions are in store. And it's Dale College once more going to the right to the back of the line out there. Not quite on purpose, but regathered nonetheless. We'll be claiming that one. Dale College error once more from Ayoyo. Kesarinia. Not quite according to the referee's judgment. Brings the players back. As you can see there, Dale College play on the ground. Seriously hurting there. We do hope that he is all okay. Not quite sure what happened there, Loazi. Oh, must have been a knee to the head there, I think. I think so too. Yeah, unfortunately. 
him staying down. The med medics have arrived very quickly, which is excellent. And they'll make sure that the young boy um, is well taken care of. Blow to the head, always a serious concern from onlookers. So we'll be hoping he can get onto his feet as quickly as possible. As we can see there, Muketsi, the captain, just relaying some instructions as to how to end off this game for Dale College. But as we saw in the previous game, Hudson Park ending off with a lovely consolation try at the end. Dale College will be certainly looking and hoping to do the same. Yeah, so Dell Del College, yeah, will be hoping to do the same. Obviously, with, with there being 20 minutes, 20, close to 20 minutes, 19 on, um, there's still a bit of time in this fixture. However, it needs to happen now. They need to score now because then it'll put them back into the game. All of a sudden, 25-10, maybe another three, you know. So, but that would be against the runner player. K is definitely looking like the more dominant team. And uh, they're going forward with many different options, uh, changing their attack up as much as possible. And also, obviously, profiting from all the Dale mistakes that happened in the first half. So, Dale have come back into the fixture. However, uh, the comedy of errors at the beginning of the game is what has proved to be the difference at this stage. Dale College player on the ground. Not exactly a pleasant sight for onlookers. Uh, just a precautionary concussion check there stated by referee Richard Schulst. A man that has been absolutely everywhere today, Luazi. He's been ordering the troops onto the field, off the field. He's really managed this game well, especially under the under these less than ideal conditions. Yeah, he truly has. I mean, uh, you can see that he's in a ref that has had a, a lot of experience, um, and he's basically marshaled these troops uh, in, in these conditions really well. Um, as we look there, scenes of uh, the coach, uh, Dell coach, Royden. Kennedy um, making sure that well, he, the Dell boy is good. Uh, big ups to all the ambulance um, staff, doctors, uh, making sure that our boys are well taken care of and receive the best possible treatment immediately. As you can see, they're showing sign of respect from the case supporters. Clapping off the injured player. Lovely to see. And we do hope that. He is not too badly injured and that everything will work itself out just fine for Dale College. But they now have a chance to end off this game in the way they would have imagined. And it seems like it's Josh Hall lining up for a go here. And it's exactly that man, but he's met well there by the Kez rush defense. Dolivera, the man making that exceptional tackle as Dale College hoof it up field. Number 23 now, Jack Brother. Looking to entertain some of the K students showing up in their numbers. As we can hear on our microphones, cries of beast for Dolivera. Yeah, so um, unfortunately, in conditions like these, it's very difficult to, to once you've lost momentum, to regain it and uh, actually go from, to score more points. So definitely the area is creeping back into the King Edward side as well. Uh, however, they've got, they've, they, they, they grip firmly on the trophy there uh, as coming away with the winners uh, of this game. As a full-time approaches, the game has definitely leaned towards a more of a messy encounter, a scrappy encounter nonetheless, but it's the Kays that have gained an unassailable 25-3 to lead. But Dale College will be looking to change that with an excellent run from deep. Nice angle work there by the captain Muketsi. 
Fani. He'll be looking to go towards the line. Will the young man know? Decides for the quick tap and go. Wise decision potentially from Dale College. Almost spotting a gap there, but snuffed out by Puffy. Good work there from the flanker. As you can see now, Kez trying to get a counter up going. It would pass, sloppy pass out for Mayoyo. Kicks it downfield now with Julio Cardosa. And it's Cardoso who evades not one but two. Getting past that 22 meter line. He's certainly been one that has absolutely put on one fantastic performance. Every time he has received the ball, he looks exceptionally lively. And one that will be proud of his performance once this game is concluded. But that is still a couple of minutes away as Kez aim to finish this game. Just the way they started it, was he? Yeah, so Kez obviously had the ascendancy early on. Um, and now, obviously, found themselves deep in, the, in their own half. Uh, and the errors just keep creeping back into each, each, each team's game, uh, but expected in these conditions. King Edward there with the ball. Zian Yubar, the number 17 there, the man on screen. Substitute forward there for the men from Kez. As we can see, another player being attended to there by the medics. It's been quite a disrupted end off to this encounter. The player, you can't really see on your screen now, ladies and gentlemen, but the player is back on his feet and he does make his way back to his own half. Masondo with a lovely kick downfield. Kesnal with yet again another opportunity to go above the 30 point margin and really put the cherry on the cake in this what has been an absolutely, I wouldn't say perfect display from King Edwards because it's been far from perfect, but it's been a professional performance from King Edwards. I agree with you uh, a thousand percent. Uh, obviously, in these condi tough conditions, they've been the team to have the least, least errors. And the team that had the least errors under these conditions more than likely wins the game. So, as proving now, um, with two minutes to go, King Edward with another opportunity to try get another try. Let's see if they can do that. King Edward's walling forwards. Supported onwards by the crowd in attendance. On Hayser distributes now to Tekane. On Hayser once more, finding number 16, Hershevitz. Good run there from the big man. Going to that side once more, knock on error there from Zian Yubad, it seems like. But the referee does call them back. On Hayser. Now Masondo going to the line, potentially wise decision from the King Edwards. They'll be looking to get the likes of De Oliveira yeah. and Hershevitz going there in the mall. At the last, um, at the last rock. Yeah. So number 18, Dale. Yeah. Okay. Number 18, Dale and Captain, please. Referee just calling for number, number 18, 18, Josh Hall. Okay, Cappy, got a call from Aya. After the ball left the ruck, number 18 clearly comes in with the shoulder and takes the supporter out of it, and that's going to be a yellow. Okay, we're going to allow foul play to that to happen in the game. Josh Hall being shown a yellow card here. A devastating and frustrating way to end off this encounter from his perspective and Dale College. Real lack of discipline, and it's been the story throughout the game here for Dale College, Loisy. Yeah, a bit, a bit unfortunate there that uh, that that had to had to happen, but it's fair because at the end of the day, if you don't you're not policing that, then you're going to have a problem. So uh, and it's Hushmits. Lovely end off from King Edwards. 
gets over the line. The substitute hits on the score sheet. Absolutely brilliant there. Um, uh, one of our coaches at Hudson Park is Daniel Stanley. Loves them all. Try. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, absolutely amazing there. Um, so more. Uh, some people really enjoy the mall and um, when it's set up well and it's going forward obviously is a great attacking option so hence this time around uh, you can completely attribute this try to the fourth Hershevitz putting his head down and dotting on over granting an opportunity now for Julio Cardoso to convert score now as you see it ladies and gentlemen 33 in favor of king edwards cardoso will be looking to convert tough angle and be kicking against the wind but we'll just have to wait and see what the young man can provide Distance, perfect. Accuracy, perfect. King Edwards, perfect. Very good result from King Edwards. They've really put Dale College to the sort of Dale College side. Not quite used to the Easter Festival, just, a, just as of yet. Still managing to find their feet, Loisy, but it's been an exceptional performance from King Edwards. Not faultless, but gets the job done nonetheless. Yeah, the, and I uh, alluded to earlier that the team that makes the most mistakes will probably lose the game and uh, King Edward was able to pounce, was able to pounce early on those mistakes and was able to put points on the board. As we wrap up here the day, this game's fitting in to an absolutely exceptional day of rugby. Uh, every single team came out here, didn't complain about the conditions and got the job done. Uh, uh, Massive credit to the groundsman at KISS. This field looks like it could go for another six, seven games. <laughs> so kudos to them. And ultimately, well done to KISS on winning that fixture. I mean, they, they grounded out. And as we said earlier, it was a professional performance by KISS and proving that they are well coached and can uh, win games uh, off the mistakes of other teams. Just recapping that scoreline there for you, ladies and gentlemen. Kes taking it out. 32 points, 2-3, and concludes the second day's action of the Kes Easter Rugby Festival. Do join us again on Monday, where we will have plenty of rugby in store. See you for that one.